Hey uh, folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Baldur's Gate Insanely Evil Edition. Last time, we picked up a chicken, and I think we're going to go to High Hedge and just resolve that kind of right away. So I think that's going to be the idea here. If I recall I correctly, we'd actually for now. head over there, got waylaid by enemies, and lost someone. All right, got a clean trip this time. Gorgeous. There's a couple NBCs on this map to talk to, but I don't think they're very important. Well, I guess we did talk to the guy a over here who was planning the heist. Which probably didn't work out well. And there's a recruitable, friendly NPC on the eastern side, but we're not looking to pick up another party member right now, so we're just going to ignore them. Why do I live in um, such a time? I have a chicken. Yeah, I'm quite aware of the mute status of chicken. Thank you very much. Transform man. Apprentice? You don't have an apprentice. Oh, unless it's Melicamp. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, don't you know him? Blah, 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 Um. Price for my assistance just went up, eh? Valentair? Yeah, no coin. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, no. We'll, we'll just help. That's going to be okay. Try to work. Okay. So he needs a skull, which we have. We've been actually toting a skull around for a little while here. I'm going to quick save first, because as far as I know, it's just a 50-50 chance whether this works out successfully. If it fails and just explodes Melicamp, then we get nothing. If it succeeds, then we get some XP. There you go. Success! I don't think we get anything it fails. Plus one rep as well. Okay. The slow climb may be back up to a slight discount, but probably nothing that's going to be helpful. Because um, if we go and take a look over here, what we'd like... Probably two things. Uh, wait, do you not... Hold on. Do you not sell robes of the evil Archmage? Oh. You only sell good and neutral. Okay, so there are only two to get in Baldur's Gate 1, period. One from... Um, I think it's the guy at the bottom of the Cloakwood dungeon. I think we get one from him. And the other one is you can get it from Baloth through a variety of means. Hmm. Which means if we recruit Baloth, the problem is then we're going to have three people who would like one and only two of them. Because I would like Quill to have one, I would like Edwin to have one, and then Baloth would have one. I mean, unless we keep Eldoth, which of course, even though he's partnered up with Sky, we could we could still do like shenaniganry to just get rid of her in some fashion and just keep Eldoth. He's just not very useful, and I suspect Baloth will be considerably more useful. What's plan B? Should have made my character, like, chaotic neutral or something instead. Still gone evil, but gone neutral so that I could wear the robes of neutral Archmage. But hadn't hadn't considered this to be a problem. Yeah, so we can sell the poison arrows, but they're not worth much. Anyway, the other item we can pick up um, is we probably are going to go for the Claw of Kazgaroth. So this is a tricky item. It does technically count as being cursed, like you need to remove curse to put it on. It, it uses a ring slot, and it's got two substantial disadvantages. It gives you minus two constitution, which is substantial, and it gives you a, a minus four penalty to your saving throw versus death, which in Baldur's Gate 1 is basically saving throw versus poison. Um, we, there's not a whole lot of actual death spells cast at you, but poison is one of those. So it makes you considerably more vulnerable there. However, increases your, it improves your AC by one, improves it by four against missile attacks, and then improves all the other saving throws um, that there are. It's just a save versus death that is kind of problematic. Now, yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe I don't have to worry about too much money. And I mean, we can certainly afford the claw now, so maybe we just do that. I don't think there's a lot of other big purchases. Let's take a second and see who we might want to put it on. So, minus two constitution is only a problem for characters at certain constitution numbers. Um, from constitution nine through 14, something like that, you don't get any bonus hit points. So like Dorn over here with this 14 con, doesn't actually get any, any benefit from this really. Um, so if he went to a 12, he's not going to lose any hit points because he's not getting any bonus hit points there. I don't really relish the idea of one of our frontliners having the huge deep penalty to their save versus poison because um, because they're the ones who are most likely to get poisoned by spiders and things. And we're actually about to go through a big poison area. We might want to like not bother with the um, with the ring until after we finish with the uh, spiders, which we're about to do. But so I mean, he's a candidate for it. <coughs> I believe the AC improvement also stacks with like 
uh, magic AC improvement. Like, you can wear wing protection and the weird claw. We obviously don't want to put on Kagan, because he would lose a lot from his constitution dropping down below 20. Uh, Quill would also lose hit points, because we are a fighter, so we benefit from the constitution above 16. Viconia, I think, is so low that the minus 2 constitution would actually be quite poor for her. I think she'd end up with negative um, hit points per level from that. Edwin would lose out. He is getting maximum constitution there. Elvoth might almost be a candidate for it. He would lose one hit point per level, going from 15 con to 13 con. But the defensive perks are pretty substantial. What are Bela's stats are? Hang on, let me just quickly check the wiki. Because I can do that. Bailoth. Uh, Bailoth has a con of 16. He has a perfect con for a non-fighter. So we really kind of don't want to mess with it. So right now, the candidates are... Eldoth would be fine. Dorne would be ideal for the constitution side of it. I don't relish the idea of having him be so vulnerable to poison, though. That would be the downside. Saves are pretty good. Um, dwarves and, and other, like the short races, gnomes, halflings, and dwarves all have like substantial bonuses to certain saving throws from their shorty bonuses. Um, so actually, they, they kind of lose less on it. And apparently the way it calculates in the game, so short races based on their constitution get a bonus to their some of their saving throws. Some, all, I don't, I don't remember which way it goes. Um, but apparently it's calculated based on their base constitution um, during level up and not actually... Um, they don't actually care about modifiers from, uh, from items and stuff like that. So it actually is surprisingly good to put on that, but we're not going to put on Kagan because he would lose a lot of hit points from his constitution going down and he'd lose the regeneration thing, which isn't the biggest deal to be honest, but <sighs> do I just buy it to throw on Eldoth for now? And then after we're through spider shit, Dorn can wear it. If we decide to pick up, if we decide to drop Eldoth and pick up um, Baloth instead, then we could throw the claw on Dorn. Because it's curse, it's really annoying to like. You can't just take it on and off at a whim. You've got to cast remove curse or do it in a temple. But it might be viable. Let's buy it for Eldoth now. Or do I want to hope I get a tick up and rep? What would we do next that might give us a rep boost? I mean, I think if we go into the mines of Cloakwood and free the slaves and, like, um, don't drown them, I think we get a rep up from doing it that way. I don't think there's anything else we've got on the docket right now that gives us a rep boost. We could go and spend a, a few hundred bucks at a temple, and that might actually be enough of a discount to make it worthwhile. Eh, frig it. We'll just buy it now. We got, we got, we got the money. What the hell, right? Town. Let's do it. Any potions I might want to consider? I don't know about All right. The Horn of Kazgroth is also interesting. Um, you actually use it. It does... It, I think it does 10 damage. You use it, gives you 10 damage. And then for... Yeah, three rounds only. You get a saving saving bonus. I don't think it's worthwhile. I don't usually care about it. Just because I don't care about like charge based stuff too often. All right, let's do it. First of all, let's get full stacks of these throwing daggers. These stacks go there. Blam! Cursed item. Oh no! Let's take a look at your saving throws. Yeah, see? Your saving throw against Paralysis, Poison, Death, 16 is really bad. You roll a 20-sided die and you got to roll that or under. So his ability to resist poison is going to be absolutely shit. Hopefully it doesn't backfire on us. Be direct. We'll see. But it is going to improve a lot of other things, so... Um, let's book it. We do have, uh... Basilius' Holy Symbol... I don't remember which temple we turned that into. Here, let's um, well, let's kill these flints. You're so dumb. Why are you getting murdered? Go pester someone else. I mean, I guess you're being attacked by a lot of stuff, but jeez. Again, you disturb me. I really should have. 
taking this a little bit more seriously. There you go. Go to sleep. For now. You unruly children. What's your worry? Sleep spell. Pretty good. Alright, yeah, I'll just leave. I'm not gonna bother poking the extra party NPC because we're, we're not gonna take. Yeah, I don't know if we turn in this temple or Nashkel. Let's find out. But we should get some credit for turning in this holy symbol. And then the Eldoth's got this cool blur effect. I gotta say, the blur effect is awesome badass. Don't super cool. Me. There you go, holy I'm symbol of Bacillus. Important. XP, tons Speak of money. And be gone. All right. Um, I kind of we do have a couple of quests technically here in like some of the hills and areas to the west, out of town, west of Baragost. Wait, let me just check down here. Yeah, no, that's right. That was that zone. We just did this one. That was Basilius and the chicken and everything. Yep. And we poked the left hand side and everything. So let's go over here to the area with the three rocks. Um, I don't remember. What did you? Oh, well, we definitely have the rest. Come on, go. Have a little nappy nap. There will. Oh, uh, should be fine. You know, El oh, see, this wolf is attacking Elba. I was gonna say, it might be a little bit more viable to put him in the. What was you? You had the 16. Oh, you had no con. Hold on. Let me check the wiki. Would it have been better to put it on her? Um, constitution. What's the chart? So she's at an eight right now. Yeah, if she went down to a six, she would get minus one HP per level, which would be pretty bad. Um, I suppose we could have given her the constitution book so that then she could turn around and wear the claw without the minus one con, but that seems pretty dumb, and I definitely want that as my main character, so that was never going to happen. Night Singer, give me power. Go ahead. Put your melee weapon, for sure, why not? Of assistance? Hell, I mean, oh, melee oh, seems to be happening, so let's just go ahead and do oh, this. Uh, I'm going to see if you can pull back. I wonder if you can sleep these things. What is it now? I, 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 I've never really used sleep that often, so I, because I, and I keep assuming that like most things can't be slept. And it turns out that like I should just assume that everything can be hit with a sleep spell if it's not undead. Nothing's got that many hit dice in this game. We shall hold here. Okay, let's try sleeping again. Okay, not interrupted. Good. Excellent. Okay. Even the chant. We've got a few chant spells. Some ghouls. Uh, no, no, the ghouls in the paralyzing touch are just ghasts. Again, you did. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do You're a bunch more so melee stuff here. Save some arrow slash. Everyone is actually probably slightly better with their melee weapons than the range. Again, the range is nice because you can hit things without walking up to them. But as long as our tanks are grabbing aggro. Not too shabby. Okay, yeah. This is the one who wants to kiss one. So it doesn't matter what we say here. It doesn't matter what we say. Either way, she tries to kiss us, and I think there's no way to, like, turn it down. Um, so, yeah. I mean, you won't slow me down. Uh, kiss? No, I'm going to say no. And I must insist. It doesn't, doesn't matter. And then she instantly kills someone. That's the way it goes. It's okay, though. Don't worry about it. No! Oh, I don't want to do this. Okay, restore my fallen. Explain your actions. There we go. And yeah, I'll release you from this ogre because that's okay. It'd be interesting. Yes, do that. Now, what's annoying? I'm gonna pick up all this stuff again. Just stay paused. There. Speak and be gone. Second stack of throwing daggers. Why not? Reinstall. Okay. Now, I don't know if I can save right now. Oh, cool. Because I want to try to kill both of them. For now. 
beat a wrecked. What be this trouble, Sean? Why have you uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. destroyed the um, pigs? There you go. You and your lying punk accomplice shall harm no one else. Yeah, okay, she's not aggroed right now, but we are gonna want to kill her. What is it now? Hopefully we can catch some troops in this case. The reason we're gonna kill her is she's worth a bunch of XP. Again you disturb me. I gotta remember to make my arrows too. I gotta remember every time I wake up. Make arrows. Okay. Quickly retarget her. Yeah, look at this. 5,000 XP from killing her. Did not want to leave that on the table. Okay. Hold on, got a level. Oh, yeah. I was like, why is this constitution red? Dude, you just equipped the item. I think his pickpockets went up automatically. He was at 55. Level 2 mage spells. Yeah, we're probably still mostly playing as an archer. Look. Boy, you could really use the robe of the arc mage, too, couldn't you? Apparently, everyone could. Really? Didn't auto how do I do that? I'm surprised. Helmet. There we go. Gift of peace. Helm of defense. Plus one to saves. Resistance cold fire electricity. Nice. Now you can't wear the helmet, which is too bad because you could use an extra plus one to saving throws. Um. Maybe we should give it to Vaconia. So this way, if like we get fireballed or whatever, she's got a higher chance of surviving the hit. I was just thinking, Bukoni's got the lowest hit points. On the other hand, I'm you know main character, yada yada yada. I think that's a good idea. Keep our healer alive, so this non magic helmet we can just ditch. Speak and be gone. Okay. Well, that worked out okay. Now there's a couple more things to find on this map here. I don't think there's anything this way. I think this is just a dead end, but let's go and find out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did the right thing with Eldoth. Yeah, well. I mean, is is Eldoth even being here the right thing? We could save money on a remove curse scroll spell by just uh, killing him when we want him out of our party. Mad Arkand. I don't remember what your deal is. Who you are? No, not I. Yeah, I like you. Yes, I do. Wordle, wordle, woo. I know of a way to make your life like me too. Wait. I know of a way to make you like me too. Wordle, wordle, woo. Down by the ocean, down by the sea, there's a pirate ship waiting for you and for me. Bring me what's in it, but don't ever wear it. Or sure enough, soon enough, you'll wordle too. Sus. Is there like ring of princes? Oh, hold on. That was supposed to go back on you. Is there another magic ring? Okay, flame dance. Gold ring. Yeah, because when uh when Dorn was just insta gib there. There is no evil but stupidity. Potion of fire burning. Pickpocket failed. The saves come. Saves come some more. There you go. Nothing left. Well, this is stolen by Cupcurser skill. Almost implies he does still have some stuff. Well, it doesn't almost imply. It definitely implies. I that didn't stack. That there's more in there. Be direct. All right. Well, I don't expect we're going to give you whatever it is. We'll probably just kill you if you give us a hard time about it, but let's find out. Oh, those things are worth a surprise amount of XP. Why wouldn't he just walk over here? Well, maybe he didn't want to deal with the carrying problem. I think this is a uh, cursed ring of, like, uh, dumbness or something, isn't it? That... Yeah, there you go. It's like, I've seen this before. Speak and be gone. Pose your stats. He did tell us not to put it on. So, I don't know, we'll give it to him. We can probably sell it for a couple of bucks, but barely. Beautiful ring, yes, where did you I get am. it? Most likely 
quite near exactly where I put it. Wordle oh, wordle oh dear, wordle woo, wordle oh, wordle oh woo. Oh, I know what you're thinking of, Mad Arkin, the stinking who takes what you give him and gives not in return. So here, take this bottle. But please don't unstopple or wordle poor wordle, you'll surely get burned. I don't see gained an item. Oh, because we already stole it from him. Of course. Good curiosity. I don't want to lose, like, rap. Because... Yeah, minus two. Alright. No, let's not do that. I was just curious. This landscape is tricky to navigate. There's the surgeon. I think some random half over us to fight. I think he just like offers us a healing or something, doesn't he? Again you disturb me. Sleepy times. Jean and I'm gonna throw a command on this extra worker that's coming in. Oh! He fell asleep, so the command was redundant, but sure. So Hold off, I'm just gonna pull you out of the front lines here. Stand back there and sing instead. You are so irritating. Speak and be gone. How may I be of we'll pull back. Now, we do have enough hit points that our characters can melee a little bit more. You know, a little bit more freely than we used to. But it's still so dangerous. I don't think with range. Like, we may have been nerfing some of our damage output for a little bit. With Vaconia, it's quite noticeable. Ah, no, it's right. She's only doing one damage less with the sling than with Ashinita, on average. Like, the range is just one less. Yeah, I really should do this, and then it's range. I mean, she doesn't hit very quickly, but she doesn't hit very quickly with that either. Speak and be gone. Am I out of healing? Singer, yeah. Give me power. Are we using all your spell slots? Yeah. I guess we rest I will listen for now. I think we're done with this map. bottom just in case it leads somewhere but I, I don't think so <laughs> Poke the bottom. sounds dirty you guys I'm assuming Killian's bad for a rat but I don't want to keep mm. see how annoying this is maybe I should just get you some thief compatible armor okay, pocket succeeded uh, I think we got this blur scroll which is actually pretty nice we are gonna do some um yeah, Edwin, you need some defensive shit in your level 2 slot. That's what it's really good for. Oh, you do know Blur! And I'm never using the horror, apparently. I guess with sleep, I don't really need horror as much. I'm gonna cancel a horror and throw a Blur in there. Yeah. Speak and be gone. Oops. I will listen I do? for now. Oh, pick up a bastard sword. I don't want that. You know, I can get rid of these extra throwing daggers as well. Be direct. I might never end up throwing any daggers at Dorne, but it's good to have a ranged option. Like, if there's a cloud we don't want to enter, then at least you can throw shit at people. Oh, I don't even know if I can escape from the bottom of the map here. I suspect... perhaps not. <laughs> okay. I... I don't know. Clearly not everything has been cleared. A group band of half overs. Fortifying themselves mountains south southwest of town. Well, this place looks mountainy. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Alright, well. What's your worry? What is it oh, now? Sir? Seems okay. Speak um, and be gone. And I don't want to, like, fuck with the auto attack that people have. But I guess I'm going to have to go Jean and Caress? manually do this so that we actually can try to do a turn here. Don't fall. He's targeting Eldoth. Maybe this guy here. Night singer. Oh, you cancelled your turn undead. Wait. I have the AI turned off. Why are you stopping your turn undead? 
we go. Maybe it's because I told you to attack in the first place. Are you still turning? Okay, you are. Which didn't help us at all. All right, thanks, game. Be direct. Oh, did I not save after reaching the edge of the map? Guys. Oh, wait. There's an auto save. Whenever you, whenever you travel. There you go. That one's on the edge of the map. Speak and be gone. Where is that going? Here, mountains. You have been waylaid by enemies All right. and must I'm just leave the AI How may I on. We're not going to worry about turns. Again, you disturb me. Um, you are so irritating. So if we can just snipe some skeletons with magic missile, though, that's going to be kind of nice. Mostly just the range one. Range. What is it now? Lightsinger, give me power. There we go. Whew. I will listen for now. Man, that is a shockingly You're tough so fight. Nah, I don't about the single little ring. Uh, over here. Okay. Yeah, I definitely did not clear this map. Um, I'm gonna rest. Water. So make the those first, and then rest. Good, and then make you some more Speech arrows. And be gone. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna come up with a good number of them over time. Okay, good stuff. So I'm assuming it's somewhere on this map. Also, I'm assuming there's nothing. Oh, I went and like I literally can click that. Okay, I can click here. Oh, that did open up a new area. Okay. I mean, finishing these side quests isn't a huge deal. It's not going to be much of a reward. Oh, this guy here. This, we got a good response to him. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've had a, just my fill of riddles asking, quest assigning, insult throwing, pun hurling, hostage shaking, iron mongering, smart ass fools, freaks, and felons that continually test my will, metal, strength, intelligence, and most of all, patience. If you got a straight answer anywhere in that bent little head of yours, I want to hear it pretty damn quick, or I'm going to take a large blunt object roughly the size of Elminster and his hat and stuff it lengthwise into a crevice of your being so seldom seen that even the denizens of the Nine Hells themselves wouldn't touch it with a 20 foot rusty halberd. Have I made myself perfectly clear? <laughs> I will listen. Oh, uh, maybe my favorite piece of writing in this entire franchise. It's just great. Okay, we're, we're in a very low level You're area here, so don't expect any challenging encounters. I don't just casually run into... Maybe it's in the middle of the map. There's nothing to do here, because we've already poked the bottom of this screen. All right, do this, we'll come up. If we run into some half-ogres, then done. Okay, these are kobolds. They're definitely not half-ogres. Um, can I, really? Oh. Again, you disturb me. That's really annoying. I wish everyone just die here. So irritating, my oh my god. Do not All right, run, Eddie. Way. Run! Get out of range. Speak okay. and be gone. What's your worry? I don't know how our arrow situation is. I will listen for now. Be direct. I can't believe we almost lost Eddie some cobalt. I mean, admittedly, we're opening ourselves up to a lot of just random range attacks. Uh, well, that's slightly annoying. All right. If there's nothing in there, then I guess this whole corner. We cleared that already previously, unless it's in the top left. But it's such an irrelevant quest. It's just I'm just being bothered by the completionist side of things. Baconia? Okay. So are you moving slowly? But no. You were just caught on some train. Alright, a single bandit. Sure. Alright. You're so dull. Is there Speak any chance Officer Vi is not there because we're evil? Do we only does she only appear to give us a quest if we have positive reputation? Because I got all these freaking bandit scalps. I mean, worst case scenario, we can sell them at 25 a piece. What's but we can get 50 a piece from buy. Am I too late? Hold on. It's in chapter 3 that she shows up, and in chapter 4 she leaves. We might have just missed the opportunity to get her, I'm just realizing. Yeah, because chap I think chapter 3 she shows up. 
And then from chapter four on, if you ever talk to her without bandit scouts, she leaves. I think we just missed her. Oi, that's annoying. You have been waylaid by enemies right. and must waylaid by Zvarks. That that seems fine. Go. Speak and be gone. All right. What's in this zone? Oh, there's a little hint. Iron in your left. What? You don't really want to kill us, do you? Yeah, kill you, maybe eat you later once iron's smelted. Okay. Well, aren't you a winner? Why don't you get some help? Wait, are these the half ogres? I mean, the quest said south southwest of Baragos. Maybe it said south southeast? South Southwest. I don't know. I mean, I guess people get directions wrong sometimes. Fair. I will listen for now. Do you have a magic two-handed sword? There is no evil I mean, it's probably just a plus one, which will make it distinctly less good than uh, than Dorn's kick-ass sword. I suppose one never knows. Peter wrecked. Yeah, it's just a regular plus one sword, which is relevant, because uh, Rancor is a plus one sword, and plus two if it's killed someone in the last 24 hours. So it's obviously a much better sword, or at least as good. Yeah, it doesn't auto stack these when you create them. Speak and be all right. no good all okay, what was hidden over here? The charming and the tedious. Water opal. Is it really valuable? I mean, I guess it doesn't tell us here. I don't know. Peter wrecked. I'm betting it's probably fairly valuable if it was hidden there. Uh, a toll. Yeah, <laughs> make one move. Your own life is forfeit. Okay, no spellcaster, but we do have a ranged person over here. Well, both of these are ranged. That. In just in case the sleep doesn't stick, I'll try to knock down the guy in the back. Okay, neither one of them hit. So they may have all made their saves, or they might just have too many hit dice or something. Again, you disturb me. All right, well, let's just try to burst this guy. Okay, that was uh, pretty quick. I'll tell you what, everyone go hit the archer. So irritating. There you go. I will listen for. Alright. Easy piece. Only shallow don't. Well, I Peter pick up the scalp with the wrong person, but that's okay. What is Actually, it why don't you quill pick up a bunch more of these? You need to get a level up. And be gone. So let's process that as quickly as possible. That goes there, that goes there. I need the arrows plus one. I keep feeding the quill because he can't make just magic poison arrows at a will. He can't use them either. I will listen for now. All right. What do we level up in this time? Fighter level. Back go, hit points. I mean, Be you know, direct. still good. It's not exciting, perhaps. But it's still quite good. Hello, Zvarks. You have magic sling stones? Lightseer, give me power. All right. The first in life is I will listen for now. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is the guy. His cow is being attacked. I do not understand this mouse magic that makes me do your bidding. Oh. Peter wrecked. It's quite hard to save the cow, actually. Oh, there we go. Well, these broke aggro anyway. It was like, quick, quick, kill the ones that haven't gone to sleep. But it turns out... Speak and be gone. You're so dull. We get a wrap. Achievement unlocked. Save the cow. Hey, hey! See, I told you it's hard. If I hadn't gotten it yet. Thanks for saving Arabelle. 
Since Verms, one mines a natural scale, making attacks like this more often. Some get the bottom of that. Yeah, well, we did do that. Plus this one rep. Seems to be somewhat and, you know, you do the little things for little people, for and uh, it lets you, you know, again, Speech it's all part of our political image. Let's exit the map to the east and see if there's anything exciting over in this direction. Hello, black bears. Um. Yeah, let's I will listen. For now. Not worth that much XP, but they're also not too hard. Okay, well, we slept a bear. Not the one from the back, but that's okay. I wonder if it's because they were still neutral when I started casting it. Or they both made their save. Okay, fine. Karkin still has 51 HP after taking that hit. Such a badass. <coughs> Ooh, Hobgoblin Elite. Ogre Berserker. Okay, you can engage there. Range people keep going after the Hobgoblin Elite. Thank you. Um, one, two, three. All the range people, oh, including myself. Actually, I'm just realizing I think uh, Eldoth isn't doing range things right now. Which might be okay. What's his AC currently? Oh, it's a nine. Okay, no, he's still doing range What's stuff. Your worry? Okay, do this. You two go there. Let's just take out this elite before he obliterates us. Yeah, I forgot to put Eldon's armor back on. That's not good. Just make sure we're focus firing over here. Good. What? It's because I pickpocketed it. That's why. We're not in combat anymore. Everything's dead. Settle game. Don't fall. You're so There's a dead body. Huh. Cheebus. 38 damage. All right. I will listen for now. Come on, someone hit him with a range attack. Thanks. What's your way? What is the deal here? Potion. That is not an oil speed. Holy murky oil would appear to increase the movement and cap combat capabilities 100%. Um, I think this one's actually a secret potion of confusion. Weirdly enough, like, you can't ID it to confirm, but I think that's the situation. Don't fall. It's a troll item. Speak and be gone. I mean, not an item for trolls, but we are being trolled. We could go to Firewine Bridge. Is there not another place over here? I feel like there is. Hold on. I'm just going to try to look up a online map here. No. All right. I guess not. You know, I guess we may as well do Firewine Bridge for completion this. And, and then we'll go through the Cloakwood. What the hell, right? So there's a couple of points of interest, maybe three points of interest. I guess three on this upper, whoa. Missed you guys over here. Overworld. So I should rest actually. And get a heal on Dorn. For now. Uh, rest, done. There is no evil, but Make arrows. Be direct. Great. Now, we actually want to go up here, because the problem on this map... I can't zoom out. Wait. No, this is the actual map. Um, is you need to go and cross the bridge from the top left corner. Otherwise, you can't really get anywhere. It's kind of annoying. I mean, I guess there's a ramp on the other side, but I find it much more convenient to cross from the top here. Let's see if we can get our party reorganized with our tanks in the front, please. Thank you. Might have been able to take a few pot shots from up above. I think Poe just like gives a little context here. Is there anything important? Yeah, tell me your tale. Blah 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 blah. Um, any truth behind it? Here, ten coins. I don't think it matters. I don't know if there's a follow up. Rousing tale of spirits, etc. etc. Okay. I don't even think there's anything terribly exciting for us to loot in the ruins themselves.
The entrance is there. But before I go in. What is it this time? Speak! There is no good or evil, only the charming and the I will listen. No good, no evil, For only now. the charming and something else? Reminds me of um of hackers with uh the plague. Good, bad, there's only fun and boring. We want to come up here, then we go, want to go down to the ravine. Yes? I don't remember your deal, though. Greetings, little ones! You have the look of experienced travelers. A few of you look to be fine warriors. Name is... Oh! Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. We totally want to duel this guy. Um... You know, we just harass him. It's like, yeah. Draw your sword. Okay. You Be have direct. amazing bracers that we you are desperately so want. Irritating. So just die real quick. Um, yes. Why are you leading the way? How did that happen, you know? What is it now? Who's controlling this game? They're doing a terrible job. Thank you for dying. Only shallow boom, boom, boom. By appearance. Okay. One sword plus one. Turn this over to Quill. To identify Legacy of the Masters. Plus one to hit, plus two to damage. Oh yeah. Um yeah, don't equip those. Um Maybe on Eldoth. Just because, again, we're looking for people who have multiple attacks, so the longbow would count. Let's do that. Speak we should get a better gone. bang for a buck doing it that way than giving it to Dorn. I don't think Dorn needs it. So, down. Ah, uh, yes. What's driving you crazy? You see the jar. Yeah, give us the jar. We just. Yep, give us the jar. We just want to. I don't know if there's a way to talk this down. Oh, there we go. You get Kark the Ogre Mage to show up. For now. Now, this is an example. This, uh, I, I think that's the global, minor global vulnerability. So I think it's blocking spells that are third level and lower. So I don't think we can magic missile him. Uh, potentially dispel or something would work, but I mean, we'll just we'll just whack him with shit. It's gonna be okay. The first duty in life um, it might be a good case to break out pump. slightly more potent arrows, though. Uh, we'll get you served off just for some time. Arrows of Biting are interesting. But not what we're looking for here. Okay, let's just use some plus one arrows. Be direct. I interrupted this flavor talk. Yeah, look at that. Some keep mirror images. Speak and be gone. I don't know if he can be poisoned, but for poison on the blade. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay! Well, tell you what, let's uh, let's take him next episode. We'll spread out. I don't know if there's a good way to interrupt his spells. I suppose if we memorize the silence or something. Yeah, that guy's a that guy's a real problem. <laughs> Just lightning bolts, kills two of our people. It's gonna be a fun fight, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Bye bye.